Hi guys, I'm back today with a procedure able to make you get relatively pure tartaric acid from potassium bitartrate sold in groceries. Depending on where you live, it will be cheaper buying directly tartaric acid than doing it. But this video, as you know, is meant just to explore the science. Warning! Tartaric acid is irritating and sulfuric acid is highly corrosive. Wear gloves and a proper lab equipment during the experiment. Let's get started. Out of 37.5 grams of potassium bitartrate to 250 millimeters of hot water and try to dissolve them as much as you can. While keeping the temperature high but under 100 degrees Celsius, add carefully 15 grams of calcium carbonate in powder. Bitartrate becomes tartrate of calcium insoluble in water and neutral potassium tartrate. There is also a release of CO2. This is the reaction. Then add 15 grams of calcium chloride solved into hot water. The neutral potassium tartrate is changed into calcium tartrate thanks to a double exchange reaction. This is the reaction. By filtration you collect calcium tartrate insoluble in water. Then put a calcium tartrate into beaker. After add 25 mm of 96% sulfuric acid solved into 75 mm of water. Put the beaker into a pan with boiling water and not in direct contact with the hot plate. After 30 minutes, calcium tartrate is decomposed into pure tartaric acid. On the bottom, as you can see, calcium sulfate settles. This is the reaction. Filtrate while it's still hot. Wash many times the sulfate that contains still quantities of tartaric acid and add the washing water to the filtrate. Let it evaporate for 6 10 days. Then you will collect large crystals of tartaric acid. I got, for example, almost 20 grams. Tartaric acid is a useful reagent to make tartrates. Thanks for watching.